All right, guys. So a lot's happened the past couple days or weeks, I should say. Cause it's been a while. Um, we've gotten rid of a car. We've gained a car. Um, we now have a trailer in our shop, which there's going to be a story behind that at the end of this video. Um, so with all that said, we realized that with the leveling kit on my truck and the trailer in the car, I need bags in the back to help with the weight just to, so the truck doesn't sag in the back too much. So I figured we'll make a video on this, on us putting the bag system in. So see how it goes. And this is the first time both of us have ever done this. And behind me, he's cleaning off the trailer because there's a bunch of stickers on it and glue residue from old stickers and so on. So we're gonna work on that, getting that cleaned up. So let's uh, have some fun. All right, so with tradition, we got a sticker, so we gotta put it on the box. So, find a spot there, Riley. This, this corner's looking pretty, ooh, pretty. Yeah, I need some loving on that side. Ooh, there we go, air lift. Boom. Boom. And now, assembly time. All right, so before we can actually start installing the bags, there's a couple things we gotta take off. We gotta take the bump stop off. There's some of the electrical lines that we gotta unclip for now. I believe the brake lines, we also have to take the clip off them temporarily until we can get the bags in, then we can 
put it all back together. Um, so we're just taking the back wheels off to be able to reach a little bit better because you know we don't have a lift here right now, so we got to struggle a little bit. Um, so we're gonna do that and then uh, probably make another little time lapse clip of us taking all the stuff apart and uh, then I'll be back when we're putting the bags on. Now the old bushings are out, we can start putting the bags in. If you want to see the comparison, these are what was in there before. It's garbage. Don't want those. This is what you want right here. Yep. Yep. That's all you want. That's all you need. That's it. Done in life. We're over. Alright guys, so there's this fancy little tool here that I'm really excited to use. You actually gotta take it through the frame. Right here. And then toss it up through, it's hard to do with one hand, the top, if it doesn't fall through, there you go. And that is for using to pull your bolt through the frame. And do we have the bolt? No, not yet. No washer? This is the type of help you get when you go to Walmart and you find somebody there to help you out with something and you pay them minimum wage. They tend to slack off a little bit. <laughs> Here you go. Can you do the washer after? Uh, we have to put the washer on first. So you have to drag it through the frame with the washer? Yeah. Okay. So you just put the washer on like this. And somehow try to thread the bolt on with one hand. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it like that. There you go. Yeah, this is my bad hand too. But I'm thinking of getting it. Yeah, there we go. So now, and all we gotta do is pull it. And then, oh, you don't pull too hard. And you're definitely not reusing that shit. There you go. Okay. And it should pull. Right there. What the? It's unspin. I need 10 and of your those. bolts in. <laughs> So handy. There. You got that? Yeah. You can upgrade that now. I don't want to just pull it. Alright, for the moment of truth and the struggle, see how well it fits in. Without damaging the line. Boom. Here we go, folks.
fun time. Do the second bag. She's so nice. Get in here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, so now we're gonna put the bottom brackets in. They're just the little cute guys. And hopefully there's enough light for you to see. All the airlines are ran. I'm gonna pass you to Riley and he'll show you kind of what we did with the airlines and then we'll go from there. Cool. All right. So this is where we started on the driver's side. <laughs> I've actually, this is my first time sitting in here looking at it. Yeah, we pulled the spare tire just to make some room for working under here. And Matt's tucked it under some kind of body module under here. I don't know what it does. But yeah, look, he did a really good job. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the airline and the wires because there's so much back here, but yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it, Matt. I just got down here, you said, kind of set me up. It just looks good. It does, but it's good. cut. 
All right, so we came up with it. Um, so when we have to go air it up, actually, we made it easy. So when we plug in the trailer, the nozzle's right here for it, kind of hidden. And then once you put the black caps on them, hardly even see them, except the silver nuts, which ignore that. Yeah, just ignore the silver part. It's just the design, you know. Boom. Nice there you go. Color. It's all done. Match with the boat. Starting with the wheels on, drop the truck, and then probably put about five psi in the bag just to keep them nice, and then we're good to go. All right, guys. So the bags are all installed. Everything's good with that. We actually picked up a car the other day with the trailer. The bags work pretty good. Uh, for some reason, I decided not to get any footage of that. So that's pretty awkward. But other than that, uh, there's some more videos coming soon, and just stay tuned.